Because they're manufactured by well-known motorcycle companies, many people think of ATVs as being similar to motorcycles. In fact, they're very different to motorcycles, and for that matter, any other type of farm machinery. They're extremely versatile on farms and have a wide range of uses, including mustering stock, carrying tools for mending fences, some spraying operations, and towing light trailers. ATVs are available in a wide range of sizes and engine capacities. However, the largest, heaviest and most powerful machine may not necessarily be the one that's best suited to your particular requirements. A mid-range of 300 to 500 cc's offers a good power range and will perform most jobs around the farm that are suited to ATV use. It's important to always take into consideration what your work needs will be when you're deciding on the size, power and weight of your ATV. ATVs have definite limits for carrying and towing capacities and these limits must not be exceeded. The owner's manual clearly states these carrying and towing limits as well as the safe operating procedures for the machine. You should read the owner's manual carefully before riding the ATV, even if you're experienced in using farm machinery. Carrying limits are also clearly marked on the carry racks at the front and rear of the ATV. Any loads placed on these racks should be within the load limit and securely fastened. It's also important to keep the load as low as possible. A high load will raise the centre of gravity and may cause the ATV to overturn under certain conditions. Carrying loads heavier than the limit or not securing the load can also make the ATV unstable. When spraying from an ATV with a maximum 60 kilogram carry rack, the spray tank should be limited to 60 litres. In other words, one litre of water equals one kilogram. The spray tank should also contain baffles to prevent the liquid from surging to one side on a slope and overbalancing the ATV. ATVs are designed as rider active vehicles. This means that the rider leans his or her body weight to the left or right and moves forwards or backwards to assist with balance and stability when turning or going up or down sloping terrain. The rider must keep his or her feet on the footrests at all times. This assists in controlling body balance and machine stability. ATVs are designed for the rider only. Carrying a passenger restricts the rider active operation and in some instances the passenger's weight may cause instability of the ATV which can result in it overturning. For your safety and the safety of others you must not carry a passenger on the ATV. Farmers sometimes modify plant and machinery and some farmers have fitted homemade roll bars to ATVs. Any structural modification alters the manufacturer's original design features and may void your warranty and your compensation entitlements in a workplace accident. An ATV is not a tractor and therefore should not be fitted with a rollover protection structure.